taking the fun out of it. Like, it should be fun for kids to perform, and that's such a great part of growing up to do the school play. But to professionalize it so young mm -hmm. and make it about winning money or winning a contest, that, that I think is really difficult. Were you it a child actor at it. all? I did community theater. I played like cook number three was my first part. I was excellent. <laughs> How old were you? I was like 11. Oh, 11. So I did really love it from an early age and did talent shows. And you have to try out for that, but See, it's not America watching you. I didn't right. get the part of the ghost of Christmas future in the fifth grade. And you're Joan still Manz at Joan Manzanotti <laughs> got it. And, and I remember, remember this. this. That's sexism. And they put me in the chorus. And um, I remember that to this day. <laughs> so you can't handle it. Too I well. couldn't handle but it. But no. it took me until I was almost forty to even get in the business. No. Talk <laughs> about it. You want to? This is the most bizarre story. There's a little six-year-old girl in Naples, Florida who was forced to take down her lemonade stand. This is, this is true. Because she didn't have a business permit. And do you know who called the cops on her? The sourpuss of a neighbor called the police. But don't you do you think believe that? That's a neighbor who doesn't like her parents and is taking it out on the little girl. Because who doesn't love lemonade? Right? <laughs> Am I right? Or an innocent little kid with I a know, little lemonade sad. stand. You, know, you How guys sick. are a bunch of wusses. <laughs> if you're supposed to get a permit to be on the oh, street, yeah. shop, get a You need to be able to face rejection, no. okay? Oh, you need to be able to face... <laughs> you got me there, okay? But that's where I draw my line, but darn you know, it. Not at a lemonade stand. dollars yeah. and you couldn't make that with your nickel lemonade in a no. day, you know? The cops weren't so bad, they bought some of the lemonade yeah. as they were closing down the stand. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you don't get the permit. You never know what the reasons are. You may need to know how many feet you're supposed to be from. I don't know what the ordinances are. But Would you have called the cops? Probably not. But the point is, if the child is going to learn, in order to be an entrepreneur, you must follow the rules. Otherwise, she might end up like Martha Stewart. Okay? Well. Indicted. Mm -hmm. now, what would you do if it was Tyrell and a neighbor squealed on yeah. him? I would have gotten him a permit because his auntie is a lawyer. You yeah. wouldn't have given him very much. much. You didn't know that you needed a permit for I'd lemonade. find out. As the parent or the auntie, it is my obligation to huh. find out. So now and I'm not really bad because we've had lemonade stands for years. I've been harboring criminals in my home. And I didn't even know. You know, no. those kids could be recycling that lemonade also. You know, how do you know that when somebody gets leaves it there, they don't put it back in the thing? <laughs> Now they need a, a health code inspection. <laughs> if Mr. Shevsky had put me in a Christmas carol in the fifth grade, I would let those kids, right? <laughs> right. To sell that lemonade. That. No, I am telling you, just teach what them else? to do what's All right. All right. You know, you were, um, Joy, you've, you've said a million times on this show how a comic can get away with murder. Yeah. And it's okay to, to poke fun at anybody. Everybody is fair game. But apparently it is costing Jay Leno some of his celebrity guests. He was interviewed for a magazine, and he said that Mariah Carey will not come on the show anymore because he made a lot of jokes about glitter. Remember glitter? Everybody and then, made a lot of Well, exactly. And that um, Marv Albert, the sportscaster, is sick of the jokes about lacy underwear that Jay mm. Leno tells, so he won't come on either. Uh, Michael Jackson won't come on. And why are you telling this to me? I'm just saying, <laughs> should we be, I don't know. I was thinking of Monica Lewinsky. Are there, are there <laughs> people she, she here that aren't allowed to come back? Are there, that not that they're not allowed. allowed. They, they, don't come back. they don't want to. They oh, yeah. might get mad at us. Really? But I did like a whole stream of jokes on Monica Lewinsky. I did Monica's Diary and a whole lot of every. But she came on twice. Well, this is because good she, she seems like a no. excuse no. me. I'll tell you why. She so. wants something. I know. Okay. But what does she have left? This is to be a professional, you know, celebrity. She. What else can she? This do? is a girl who wore a thong in the Oval Office, so she's just turning the other cheek. <laughs> <laughs> when she was on the show. She's yeah. a good sport. It's yeah. not just that she wants to, you know, put herself out there. She's, she has but a does that make you ego, think twice about, about making fun of her the next time because you think about what a nice person she was to no. come back? No. Not I joy. Think, I don't think, think that's humor. true. People I think when we like somebody, we're much more protective. Yeah. I really do believe yeah. that. I, I, I think that you have a right yeah, to make jokes about people, but you also have a right to tell people you're not doing their show. Because mm -hmm. if I think that you're mean-spirited towards me on your show, I would never go on. And it's only because it's my feelings. It's okay to say, no, thank you. Sure. And it's okay yeah. for you to do your thing. Mm. Freedom of speech, you can have as much fun yes. as you want. But I don't have to like you. 
No. And I don't have to be nice to right. you at a party. And I, and I can't ignore you. Well, exactly. <laughs> but what if you need to push a book, let's say, and they say this, you've got to go on Joe well, Leno. Nobody tells me i got to do anything. Well, i got to stay black and die. That's it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I don't got to do that, nothing. That's kind of a given. Okay? All right. All right. Let's get out of here. I've got a question for you, especially the people in this audience. Do you think it's impossible to become a virgin all over again? Would you like to? Well, there is a surgery, and for some women, and now I'm not joking, it is a, literally a matter of life or death. We're talking about that when we come back with more Hot Topics. Sex in the City star Kim Cattrall is steaming up the view tomorrow.